Hello English learners. In this English lesson, we're going to talk about some common problems with adverbs. Let's begin with the meaning of adverbs. Basically, adverbs are words that describe verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. For example, I ran quickly to the store. The adverb quickly describes the verb run. Now, let's see the another way to describe adverb. If a word is not easy to classify as a noun, verb, or adjective, it is probably an adverb. Some of the most common words in English are adverbs, including up, so, just, then, how, now, also, here, and more. Adverbs usually describe verbs. They express when, how, where, and why. An action is done. Many adverbs are easy to find because they have the L. Y. Ending, such as quickly, surely, and certainly. However, many adverbs do not have the L. Y. Ending. Adverbs can also describe adjectives. For example, it is really cold today. In this example, really is an adverb that describes the adjective cold. Adverbs can describe other adverbs. For example, I will probably never go back. Here, the adverb probably describes the adverb never. Sure, you got it. Next. We are going to discuss where do you put the adverb, or where do adverbs go in a sentence. So, there is a confusion that adverbs may go at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle of a sentence. Well, it depends. Some adverbs can go almost anywhere in a sentence. Let us look at the adverb. Sometimes, it can go at the beginning of the sentences in. Sometimes, I walk to work. It can go after the subject. For example, I sometimes walk to work. Or, it can go at the end of the sentence, I walk to work sometimes. So, it is remembered that adverb sometimes can go almost anywhere in a sentence. Other adverbs can only go in the middle of a sentence. Let's take a look at the adverb. Probably. For example. She will probably leave early. It can go between the subject and the main verb. It is incorrect to say. Probably. She will leave early. Or. She will leave early. Probably. So, it is remembered that adverb probably can go between the subject and the main verb. Other such adverbs are never, rarely, seldom, and always. These are called mid sentence adverbs. They usually go between the subject and the main verb. Different types of adverbs have different sentence positions. All right. Most of the people get confused between adverbs and adjectives. Let's see. What's the difference between adverbs and adjectives? Adjectives describe nouns, while adverbs describe verbs. Adjectives and other adverbs. Take the sentence. She is careful. The adjective. Careful. 
is describing the noun. She. But if you said. She walks carefully, the adverb. Carefully. Is describing the verb walk. Sometimes it is complicated. Some words act as an adjective and an adverb. Native speakers sometimes confuse adverbs and adjectives. The words hard and hardly are especially difficult. Hard is both an adjective and an adverb. You can say. The bed was hard, using the adjective, which means it is very firm. You can also say. I worked hard. Using the adverb, which means with a lot of effort. Hardly is an adverb. A long time ago, it meant. In a hard manner, but its meaning has changed. People used to say not hardly. Over time, the word not disappeared. Since the 1500s, hardly. Has meant almost not. Or. Barely. For example, I hardly had time to finish the project. This conflicting meaning of hard. And hardly. Has become the basis for jokes. Listen to cartoon character Homer Simpson playing with the confusion between hard. And hardly. In the scene, Homer's co workers are replaced with robots. So you guys are my new co-workers. So working hard. Or hardly working. I said, working hard. Or hardly working. This brings me to an end of this lesson. I hope you will find these tips useful. Feel free to ask any questions if something is not clear. We are here to help you. Kindly share your experiences in the comment box below this video. Thank you for watching us. Do subscribe to our channel. I will see you again with a new lesson.